going on guys? Hope you guys are doing well. I know it's been a little bit since I put a video up, so figured I'd do a quick update on what's going on. Uh, first things first, been busy with the family and travel softball. Some of you guys know that uh, summers are very busy with my daughter's travel softball. Number two, uh, putting a pool in for the family pool in the backyard, and that's been taking up some time. Probably get that wrapped up next week. And then also just want to let you guys know that I do have a lot of products that I need to get reviewed. So make sure and keep an eye out for those upcoming product reviews. Got some pretty cool stuff in. And then on to another quick update. I picked up this guy right here uh, about four nights ago, I think. And i uh, been doing a little bit of rearranging here in the uh, basement, the man cave. And found a good spot for him up on the wall. And uh, just want to give you guys a quick update. Kind of show you guys how that turned out. My dad does an awesome job on the deer mounts, the taxidermy. And uh, just always super happy with that. But this is probably one of the better ones, if not the best one that he's done. That's my opinion. But been getting a lot of good feedback on it and uh, he just does a solid job on those. And I'll give you guys a quick show of that and just looking forward to this coming deer season. We've got the trip coming up this fall to Colorado for archery elk and super excited about that. My knee's been giving me a little bit of trouble but I've still been hiking quite a bit with the weighted backpack and I've uh, been shooting the bow quite a bit. So really looking forward to that, getting out to Colorado, getting, getting up on the mountainside and trying to track down some elk. So this guy right here is the 2019 harvest. Uh, super happy with that one. As you guys know, I was hit real hard with EHD and uh, hunted public land really hard. Uh, didn't have much luck there, had a lot of fun, found out a lot of new scouting areas for this coming fall, but ended up coming back home to one of my home properties where I've killed a lot of other bucks and uh, did a hanging hunt, carried the lone wolf in, used the climbing sticks. Uh, fortunate enough to put it in the right spot on a nice little ridge and he came in hot following a doe. And this one here, I don't think the video or the pictures ever do it justice, but you can see here his body was pretty, pretty much nothing. I mean, he didn't weigh much at all, but man, he was just all neck. This is a, almost a 24 inch cape, 24 inch mannequin, and just a monster of a neck, just full rut and had all that testosterone ramped up and just a pretty awesome hunt. I had the camera with me in the tree stand, but it just happened so quick, so I wasn't able to get that on video. But uh, we'll keep trying. We'll get one for you guys, I guarantee it. This one here is just another dandy eight point that I killed, just a good clean eight point. And then this one here, uh, score-wise, is the biggest buck I've ever killed. That's just a, a big 12. And body-wise, uh, that's definitely by far the biggest buck that I've ever, ever killed. Before Phil dressed, that one weighed right at 275 pounds, just a monster of a buck, another one that was full rut. But you can see here, this one probably had close to 90 pounds, maybe 80 pounds on this one here. But you can tell, I don't even know if this video is gonna pick it up but you can just see, if you're in here in the basement, you can just see how much bigger the neck is, even on this one that weighed about 80 pounds more. Um, just kind of weird how that stuff works out when they're full rut. But anyway, just a few of the bucks that I'm pretty proud of. Uh, a lot of years of eating tag soup, but it does pay off if you're patient and let them grow a little bit bigger. Uh, this one over here is my very first buck that I thought was worthy of putting on the wall. Uh, just a nice clean nine point. And then over here, kind of in the dark, got a, a pretty tall tine 10 pointer. But yeah, just a quick little rundown, quick little update. And as always, make sure and comment down below if you have any questions. Looking forward to keep this journey going. Subscribers are still growing pretty steady. And as always, be safe, happy hunting. See you guys next time, bye.